Cinema 5D at NAB 2016 is brought to you by b &H, the professional source for all your video needs. Tilta, arm your camera. Artlist, inspiring music for your films. Blackmagic Design, creating amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. And Atomos. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinema5D.com and I'm here with Ellie from Digital Bollocks. Hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm very well and what's new with Digital Bollocks? We haven't um, heard about you guys for quite some time mm -hmm. and I understand there are, you know, there's something new happening. What is it? Well, most recently we just did a massive up where, uh, upgrade on our firmware and we release firmware updates maybe every three or four months, but this is the firmware upgrade that our users have been waiting for actually since we launched the camera. And the most important feature that we added was 800 ISO and 160 ISO. So now we have 100, 160, 200, 400 and 800. And for low light situations, that gives our users a lot of extra reach. Now, because we are Adobe Cinema G DNG 12-bit RAW, there is already a lot of latitude in post, even if you're shooting at 400. But 800 was something that we really wanted to reach and was important for us. Um, another really major thing that we did is that we've actually hired one of our users to come on as a color scientist. And what he's done with the last firmware update is he has optimized the color. The CCD sensor has a tendency to err a little bit on the magenta side. It used to be that you had to kind of tweak things and pull things to get the magenta out. Now it's 100% gone. And that means that it's a much faster workflow, whether you're going through Resolve or After Effects or whatever process you're using to handle your RAW. And uh, with the new firmware update, uh, the noise flow is also higher or actually the picture is quite clean? The picture is fairly clean, there is more noise, but one thing that's really great about the CCD sensor is that there is not fixed pattern noise of any kind, so especially the users that come to our camera because they love film and they're looking for what they would call an organic image, for them they really like it because it has a green pattern that is more similar to film. The camera, originally, you were able to buy it only directly, if I'm not mistaken, online or directly. Yep. Anything has changed regarding the distribution? Um, globally or locally in the US? Yeah, I mean, uh, at the beginning of this year, we signed a distribution deal with One Source Video, and they distribute some other really amazing partner products of ours, actually including Hive Lighting and Wooden Camera. Um, but One Source is amazing because they have a, a large network of resellers, and that helps us get cameras into stores so that users that are not in New York or LA can still get a chance to try the camera in person and learn about it. So the new firmware update is uh, ready to download and is it free or is it for a it's charge? It's free. All of our firmware updates are always free. Any future plan to, to update big time or go do another camera? Uh, I think at some point we're interested in doing another camera but one of the sort of ethoses of our company is that we don't want to save features for some other product that's more expensive. We have a lot of these little features that normally people we either sell as an add-on or have an external you know recorder or something like that to give them those features to make them buy another thing and we just want a camera that is sort of all-in-one as much as possible so I think we'll start looking at other options once we've exhausted what we have here but there are a lot of other options that we're interested in pursuing for example we have a full frame sensor right now it's only enabled to 16 by 9 we may be able to get that open to 4x3, which would allow people to use anamorphic lenses, which then would give you 4K anamorphic. So that would be something that our users are very interested in, and slightly higher frame rates. We are limited by the CCD um, to about 30 frames per second. And there's also you know, a few other experimental features and things like that that we're interested in putting in there. Okay, Ali, thank you very much. Yeah. And thank you very much for watching.